Okay, so take a minute and settle into your posture. And as you settle into your posture and your space, see if you can allow your body to relax. So you can imagine that water has been poured over you that was exactly the right temperature from the top all the way down. All tension and tightness sliding away. And try to be more and more present with your physical experience. Aware of the movement of the air across your skin. The contact with your clothes. And all of the subtle inner movements. Digestion and heartbeat. Lungs. Just witness your own physical experience. and shift your focus to the breath.
and stay with the breath without judgment. Just allowing surface distractions to settle. And whenever your mind starts to fixate on a train of thought, gently release. Not suppressing, not chasing, just release. Back to the breath. and set your motivation. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings never be separated from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment, hatred, and indifference. May all sentient beings have these.
May I facilitate these. May I have the support to be able to do so. And now shift your mind to analysis. And with your analytical mind, try to understand the third measurable, immeasurable joy. May all sentient beings never be separated from the happiness that is free from suffering. Or may they have the peace of liberation. So this is something just very slightly different to love and compassion. It's more bearing witness to and having empathy with. Happy at the sight of their success on the spiritual path in particular. That joy that you feel when you see others engaging in positive actions, those that benefit themselves, their family, society. So it has empathic joy with observing sentient beings, creating the causes, the karmic seeds for happiness in their future. But it also is happy for the happiness we see right now. So when people are doing well with their job, when they're healthy in their relationships, when things are flowing smoothly and they have abundance, being happy for them, those ripening results of positive karma. And this kind of empathic joy can be a direct antidote to jealousy. It can take away the competitive mind that needs to be better. You can just be happy for instead of in competition against. So just mull those thoughts over and see if you can touch some sort of connection to the experience of empathic joy. What it's like for you so far when it's arisen.
How have you experienced it so far? It could be as simple as hearing a friend's story about a joyful moment in their life and you say to them, I'm so happy for you. And you feel it in a deep, authentic, genuine way. So happy for you that you found some moment of happiness and peace. So it might be happiness for them, it might be happiness with them, but somehow their joy becomes your joy in a way that is not enmeshed or codependent, in a way that elevates you both. And this deep empathic joy wants the best forms of happiness, peace and relief for sentient beings. And knows that those deepest forms come from inner work. And so in wishing sentient beings this empathic joy you're wanting them to connect with their own personal development, their own deep inner work, so they can create their own stability, safety, peace, joy. And so to engage with the practice, we think, first of all, of ourself and our own causes for happiness without suffering. So just take a minute and really consider the fact that there are so many positive things that you're connected with in your life. Ways in which you're trying to overcome negative states of mind ways in which you're trying to develop positive states of mind, 
and so many small and large ways you're enacting the welfare of sentient beings, trying to benefit them, both personally and professionally. So allow yourself to think how wonderful that is that I do those good things. Sure, they're impermanent. Of course, they're dependently arisen. There's no need to have pride about them. But it's so wonderful that they happen. That things came together for good to be done. Through me and by me. Rejoicing in that. And expand that sense out to your coworkers and your friends and family in your immediate life, rejoicing in their positive actions, the way in which they work for the good, kind to their families, good neighbors, maybe both professionally and personally, kind in many ways, And so let yourself think how wonderful that is that there are so many people in my life working for others. And there are countless people in the world right now working for the greater good. So many charities going to the aid of those who are vulnerable. Various nonprofits. All sorts of groups of religious practitioners wanting to benefit those in need wanting to support the welfare of all. So just let yourself rejoice in the countless forms of altruism that sentient beings are showing right now, particularly the human beings. And may all of this energy go to our fullest awakening for the benefit of all sentient beings. Relaxing your attention. See you soon.